What's up guys? Oh my goodness, finally after like a long wait, we have a macOS update. Approximately, I think it took 28 days to go from 11.2 beta 1 to the beta that we have today, which is macOS Pixel 11.2 beta 2. Now, I reckon that Apple recognized that they took so long to release this beta that people who actually updated to macOS Pixel 11.2 beta 1 had been facing issues and bugs when it comes to Bluetooth connection and so on for a long time so when they published this update that came out today they actually didn't just publish it to developer beta testers only but they also published it to public beta testers so I've already updated my MacBook Pro that you see here now let's quickly see what are the changes that came with this update sponsored by clean my Mac X First things first, we want to make sure we know what we're dealing with. So the update size is almost exactly the same as what we had on 11.2 beta 1. It's just 500 megabytes bigger. So macOS Pixel 11.2 beta 2 on my MacBook Pro came in at around 2.8 gigs. And if we go to look at the build number that came with this update, you can see it here and it's 20D5042D. So this build number has a D at the end. And then if you were to compare it to what we had on the previous beta, which was 11.2 beta 1, it actually had an F. So we jumped from an F to a D. A D typically means that it's more secure. However, it does imply that this is not the final version or the final version is still a bit away. We have some more betas that we are going to see until this macOS Pixel 11.2 is officially released to the public. Now, also, if we look at the storage taken up by this update, it's exactly almost identical again to 11.2 beta 1. So as you can see here, it just takes a moment to note, the storage taken up by this update is 16.21 gig, and that is exactly what 11.2 beta 1 was taken up so no change when it comes to that and just in case you are curious apple today was actually busy they released a bunch of updates i've been trying to cover most of them so if you go to the apple developer website you can see some other updates that apple released today and as you can see we have ios and ipad os 14.4 beta 2 we have watch OS 7.3 beta 2 and we have tvOS 14.4 beta 2. I'm going to be covering most of those updates on the channel and if you want to see those and many more, a sub to the channel will be great. Now, let's look at the changes and new features that came with this macOS Pixel 11.2 beta 2. For me, on my MacBook Pro, the moment I updated, I noticed that there's a splash screen that will show up just to ask you if you want to share your analytics with Apple. And once you do that, you click continue. The system will check for an update. However, it will find that if you are on macOS Pixel 11.2 beta 2, it will say that the system is up to date. Some betas do show this, others do not, but this one does show this new analytics screen that you typically are used to when you update your Mac. Now, also something else that changed with this update pertains to Find My. Now, Air tags have been rumored to be coming for some time to Apple devices. And I just want to show you how you can sort of find it out when you have a Mac. And, and this works whether you are on 11.2 beta 2 or any other Mac OS version. So what you want to do is to go to Safari. And then in Safari, you want to search for find my and then type uh, colon and then put slash forward slash forward slash items and then click search just like this and then this will come up and if you click your way it says allow this page to open find my so click there and then you'll notice that you know it will show you what's new in find my and if you click continue you'll be able to see some of the new icons and new features that are going to be coming typically you can search for devices and this does not just imply to air tags or apple developed tracking devices only it can be third party tracking accessories like tile and so on so this is something that isn't fully here with macOS. however i believe when this 
version goes public or official this is something that they could be adding to the operating system and it's also available on ios so any device or any apple device that has safari you can easily check this out and it's quite interesting that you know you get a glimpse of what's to come ahead also something else to change with this update well a lot more to do with developers has to do with canal so with this mac os pixel 11.2 beta 2 it allows for full custom canal support and what this means is that they always now finally includes the firmware and bootloaders and tools necessary to replace pixel with not pixel i believe with 11.2 beta 1 that was not possible but with this 11.2 beta 2 it's now possible you can do your custom canal setup and play around with it as to customize it as much as you want to. Also, something else that changed with this update, also again to do with developers, it's like this macOS Pixel 11.2 focuses a lot towards developers, which is a good thing because without developers, I mean, macOS, I believe, wouldn't be as good as it is. So what changed here is that content filter exclusion list has been removed from this 11.2 beta 2. And what this means is that socket filter firewalls can sort of monitor and block all traffic according to the way you set it up if this is something that you use it's finally supported on macOS pixel 11.2 now those are some of the changes that came with this update that i managed to search through and a lot of people got in touch with me so thank you for giving me feedback when it comes to these macOS updates however there are some issues that this update aims at resolving because as i mentioned before those that were on mac os pixel 11.2 beta 1 were on it for a long time so we did get a lot of messages feedback when it comes to some issues and bugs that users were experiencing and some users who were actually not on mac os beta version so the first one that this update aims at resolving if you have the apple m1 silicon mac has to do with bluetooth now this is a big boy it's um intel mac so i actually haven't been able to test out the bluetooth issue because it's not one that i was facing but if you did update your m1 mac i believe i looked into some forums where some m1 macbook users actually are mentioning that the bluetooth issue has been fixed now also when it comes to dialog box sizing issue there were issues with that where it would randomly resize to the default size so with this update that issue has now been fixed and uh, i think before it was kind of annoying you know you'll be doing your stuff and then all of a sudden the dialogue resizes to the default issue so that has now been fixed with this update if you are a person who uses external devices be it a mouse be it a monitor i'm sure on beta one you came across an issue whereby either the resolution of your external device was sort of dropping or being reduced or sometimes it would sort of glitch out or display blurry or something like that so that's something that i actually faced and i'm happy to say so far for the last four or five hours that i've been using this 11.2 beta 2 that issue hasn't yet been returned so if you have an m1 mark i would be curious to know whether this issue has also been fixed but for me on my intel mac it's actually been fixed so i i have my intel mac this is like a heater you know it's winter right now in canada and this machine intel it's good when it comes to heat now when switching from windows to windows by you know swiping on your trackpad with three fingers like this you know i noticed that sometimes i would drop frames on my macbook pro but as soon as I updated to 11.2 beta 1, this is one of the first things that I tested out. And I'm happy to let you know that so far, I can switch between windows without dropping frames. And this is something that was kind of annoying. And uh, with this update, it's sort of fixed. I don't know if it's permanent, but after two or three days when I do the follow-up video, I'll let you know. Safari, Safari, Safari. Um, I wouldn't say the speed is exactly what I had on 11.0. However, Safari seems to be a little bit more stable compared to beta 1. So if you open Safari, it opens pages like it's supposed to. This also is dependent on your network speed. When you reload the page, I noticed that sometimes it tends to be a little bit slow. So it hasn't fully been fixed, but compared to 11.2 beta 1, I would say it's a plus on this update in the positive direction.
Now, there's an outstanding issue when it comes to AirPods, whereby sometimes if you connect your AirPods to the Mac directly without doing a switch over from any other AirPod device, it sort of cuts the audio or stutters when you play something. And I don't know if this is just Intel only or M12, but this is an issue that is outstanding. I think so far on my inbox, I have about three messages from different people that are mentioning this. So this is something that you should watch out for and basically those are some of the issues that uh, this update aims at resolving i don't know how fully this is affecting different people or how fully these issues have been resolved but for me that is how my mark is now when it comes to performance i did run geekbench score just to see how fast this update is and when it comes to mac os pixel 11.2 beta 2 for single core on geekbench 5 i got a score of 7 735 so comparing that to 11.2 beta 1 i actually had a score of 752 so you can see that it's slightly lower and when it comes to multi-core performance i had a score of 29.59 on beta 2 and previously on beta 1 i had a score of 3079 so when it comes to both single core and multi-core performance this update a little bit not by much but if you do look for it you'll find it but if you just one of those persons that just updates and forget about it this is not something you see now when it comes to graphics or 3d image rendering i also did run geekbench 5 just to see how good it's performing and on this mac os pixel 11.2 beta 2 i had a score of 17887 and previously on beta 1 i had a score of 17340 gpu is it's on the rise man gpu that is something good so if you do things that require a lot of video rendering or 3d image rendering then this is something that you actually be able to tell like by a certain percentage most apple native apps that i use most of the times they are working final cut pro it's good imovie good safari ah uh, almost there but basically that's how it's performing for me and when it comes to battery performance i wouldn't be able to show you right now basically i will be able to show you how my device is performing fully and any other new bugs and issues that pop up after like two days of use so that's how it's performing for me so make sure you hit the like button if you like this video and also subscribe so that you don't miss out on most of the other updates that i'm going to be doing and also my follow-up video other than that that's about it for me let me know how it's performing in the comment section below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon by the way i do not recommend you update to this update as of yet as we are yet to see what are its true colors stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace